Hey everybody, some gadget guy here with a quick email tip for those of us rocking the Windows phone. Now this question comes from YouTube viewer Chaitanya Narula, who noticed in his email that it syncs via an interval setting. And so he was curious as to how he might speed up that email experience so that when an email is sent, the second it hits his inbox, it's going to go directly to his phone. So first of all, your email server has to support push email, the, the email being sent directly to your device. But once you're in the individual email account, if you go into settings, we have sync settings. So if we tap on sync settings, we're going to get a bunch of different options for how we receive our email. And what I've noticed, especially with Windows Phone 8.1, is that they're really trying to tailor the experience to your usage. I mean, Cortana is tracking a whole bunch of information. She can start giving you traffic updates, stuff like that. For a lot of our email accounts now, we're getting the setting which is based on my usage. So throughout the day, if you're checking your email constantly in the middle of the day, it's going to start speeding up how quickly it receives email during those time periods. And then let's say, you know, like late at night, if you're not checking your email as often, it's going to start tapering off. Now, we can leave that, uh, but it takes a little while to train up this kind of a system so that, you know, you get your email faster during certain times of day and slower during others. Now, I'm not really a big fan of this kind of setting just because there are going to be times where I get a mission critical piece of email late at night. Well, I don't want the phone to take a half an hour to update email later in the night if I get an important piece of information. So what we can do if we tap on this sync setting, we're going to get a bunch of different options. So I can switch it to every 15 minutes, every 30 minutes, hourly, every two hours, manually. So it's only going to update email when I open the email and tap on the little sync arrows or as items arrive. As items arrive is basically Microsoft's name for push email with bunny rabbit ears. If we tap on as items arrive and when we go down here and save this setting, now the second an email comes into your uh, mailbox, it's going to get pushed directly to your phone. Now if you're managing multiple email accounts, this is going to be a little bit more taxing on your battery, as it's basically a constant heartbeat to your email mail server. Whoever you get your email service from just has to make that setting available. Uh, most email services will give you some form of IMAP. And if you get IMAP, then you likely can have push email. So even my Some Gadget Guy email address, which is through Bluehost, uh, it's the host that I host my website on. If you go into settings and you go into sync settings, See, again, the default is based on my usage, but I'm going to say let's make that a little bit quicker as items arrive. And now any email that comes to my Some Gadget Guy email address is instantly going to get pushed down to my device. And now I'm just going to save that setting right there. And now I've got a real-time heartbeat sync with my email. If you don't want to have to go through each individual email account that way, you can also go through your settings. So if we go into settings, if we go to email plus accounts, we can go into all of our individual accounts from here, and then we're going to have the ability to customize our sync settings from there. So Chaitanya, first of all, I hope I have not butchered your name during the course of this video. And two, I hope that tip helps you speed up your email experience. It's a definite choice on Microsoft's part to start customizing this user experience. Um, but the, one of those things, like if email is a mission critical service for you, you want to make sure you get those emails as fast as possible. And that's how you go through to make sure that your emails come in the second they hit your inbox. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching my videos, sharing my videos, subscribing to my channel, uh, dropping me all those awesome comments down, uh, down below my videos, hitting the thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next video.